So uh, without too much spoil, how how crazy does it get for both your characters in inside these seven uh, remaining episodes of the season? It gets really crazy. I think things just move really quickly from now on once we get in because the stakes are so high and uh, you know we want to get people out, but they don't necessarily you know trying to convince someone that none of this is real when it feels very real is potentially impossible. So. Um, it's very exciting from here on out. Yeah, there's lots of twists and turns and surprises. And, um, and it's, uh, it's cool, if you, if, you know, if you've watched the show since the start, you know, you've seen the characters, it's cool to see them. Uh, uh, you know, being a <laughs> So what was it like to kind of inhabit a different version of your character? Because I know Ming gets to do it a lot and Brett gets to do it, but like how was it how did it feel to get like a different side of your character to get to play that? Good. <laughs> yes, yeah, good. That's good. It's, uh... I mean you are completely different. You're like 180. Yeah, yes and no, but he's but it's still, it's still Yeah. It's still him, it's not. Um, so got some really snazzy suits. Got some snazzy shoes. Really shiny shoes. Really shoes. Really shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Different hair. Yeah. Yep. What else? Come on. Uh, well, I don't get that. I, I mean, I don't know the other details because I'm not really around you that much. I just mean, like, I don't know if you've got a new cologne or. Do you know? Yeah. I know it fits me. I'm such a. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, we're just having. <laughs> Now we were talking to the other actors, and they're saying they were saying that they get the script maybe a day or two days before you start yeah, actually shoot. Weeks. <laughs> weeks. We don't. Yeah. yeah. Days. Okay. No, we're making it more days. dramatic. It more dramatic. Days. But so, do you guys need a cheat sheet to keep track of what everyone is doing on the show and your characters and what's happening in like the, the world around you guys? Yeah. I think this this section has been we had needed to have quite a lot of explanation of what character am I now and where am I and what's what's real and what's not real. I think we're also invested that we love to find out all the details and I think care about something you remember it. <laughs> but there is a lot going on. Which aspects of the character do you like the most? Of our own character? Yeah. Uh, do you like the most? Uh, of real, like real, real life questions? Uh, he's a lot. Um, he's probably a lot braver than I am. You know, in terms of real activity. You know, like, he's, you know, things like going out in the, in the field and doing like super agent stuff. You know, like, his worst nightmare. But he, do, but he does it, you know? He kind of, his, you know, he always kind of sticks by his rules. Yeah, yeah, whatever the whatever the situation. So that's something to take higher probably. And um, he's also very smart in it. Very smart. Smart. Got the Big brain. Big brain. <laughs> um, yeah, probably a similar thing. I like that she's intelligent and doesn't apologise for it. She never really apologises for much that she does, and I think that that's a nice attribute and one I feel like I had a bit more. Um, and I, I really love um, how she feels about Fitz, how, how strongly she's bonded to him. <laughs> Fitz, I said, not. <laughs> yeah. I know, but that even still amazing. Did it? Yeah. I just connect to you. <laughs> if or when your characters get out of the framework, should we fans expect to see emotional changes in uh, the characters? Because. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like to be in a virtual world, so I'm just, I'm just guessing. I don't know, be interesting. I mean, we still don't know still what effects it has yeah. and what, what that means, and the relativity of time in the real world and in the framework, and what it does to your body or to your mind, or how much you know. We've, we've still got all that to find out. I think Simmons' worst nightmare is that she's lost him forever. Um, so, and that's a very real possibility. So that's. What makes this last section so exciting is that literally anything can happen. And, uh, Ian, I really liked your um, arc with John Hanna and how you kind of developed that 
kind of father and son bond almost. And we got a little bit of your backstory too, which I thought was awesome. Um, can you talk a little bit about working with him and how it was like acting alongside or opposite to him? Yeah, oh, he's great. He's really cool. And he's from, you know, he's from Glasgow where I'm from and stuff. And, um, yeah, he's someone that I've seen. You know, obviously seen a lot of his stuff before he came to the show, so I was really excited to meet him. And he, uh, he couldn't be more He's amazing. He's yeah, really, really, really down to us. Did you pick um, up any tips to trade from him? Um, you swear, yeah, what you did. Did. Did you swear? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was. We probably couldn't see. Probably can't say any of those. You can say whatever you want. Some swear, basically, some swear words in Scotland in terms of seeing. Yeah. That's a I'm not we definitely here. can't say that. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's bad. Um, it's a different culture here. You can say whatever you yeah. want. <laughs>